Leading North American heart surgeon Dr. Gopal Bhatnagar has realized that e-cigarettes are one of the methods of transforming a deadly habit into an almost harmless one. The Canadian doctor has developed an open source 3D printable adapter for converting hookahs into ornate e-cigs. Dr. Bhatnagar is the co-founder of 180 Smoke, a crowdsourced e-cigarette company that has released the hookah converters design files for free on their site. According to the surgeon, hookahs play a significant role in more than 100 million daily smokers worldwide who are largely oblivious to the fact that a one-hour hookah session produces almost as much smoke volume as 200 cigarettes. The adapter invented by 180 Smoke allows them to still engage in this social practice, but without the combustion, tar, carbon monoxide, and thousands of other chemicals. The 3D printable adapter, available for download or through Shapeways, replaces the ceramic bowl that traditionally holds the shisha tobacco. In place of the tobacco, smokers can insert automatic e-cigarettes, including disposables, for a more innocuous experience. The company also sells a $200 converter, similarly priced to other such products on the market, but hopes that this new open source e-hookah adapter will make safe hookah smoking more accessible to a larger population of people. By sharing this innovation and tackling myths about water filtration, herbal hookah safety, and other widespread misinformation, 180 Smoke strives to equip smokers with the tools, resources, and information they need to make better choices. 180 Smoke, a Canadian e-cigarette company founded by a leading heart surgeon, Dr. Gopal Bhatnagar, releases a free open source and 3D printable electronic shisha converter to raise awareness of shisha smoking harms and to provide a cleaner alternative that is affordable to any one of the 100 million shisha smokers worldwide. Yeah, 180 Smoke, uh, we're a, a socially conscious uh, company uh, that's really focused on tobacco harm reduction uh, by reducing the uh, use of uh, combustible tobacco products among smokers. Very recently, we've focused our uh, uh, interest uh, on the shisha and hookah users. There are 100 million users uh, of uh, shishas, uh, also known as hookahs, around the world. And because it is a socially acceptable Uh, undertaking, people are going to do it at their homes, they're doing it at restaurants, they're potentially doing it around children. So the same issues around secondhand smoke that we worry so much about with, uh, with children is now occurring in shisha users, but they don't perceive it as that. Our innovation replaces this hookah bowl. This adapter fits almost all hookah and shisha and nargulas in the world. You simply place it where the bowl used to be. You put in your electronic cigarette or electronic shisha or electronic cigar uh, in there and you just uh, start using it. So as a socially conscious and a crowdsourced uh, company, we decided to release this uh, adapter free uh, just so, so that it is accessible to anybody for any kind of budget. It can be printed in a variety of materials such as sandstone or plastic or metal. People can use uh, any disposable or any automatic inhalation uh, cigarette in there. Uh, some go under $10 in, in most convenience stores and they're accessible to almost anybody. The user doesn't have to throw away their old traditional shisha. Many people have a sentimental value. The myth that water somehow uh, filters out this is completely untrue. So the only reason the water is there is to cool the air. It does nothing to uh, neutralize uh, uh, car carcinogens. It does nothing to neutralize the tar. The society just wants to believe that something called an herb is better for you than smoking tobacco. Tobacco is a leaf. Most herbs start off as, uh, as leaves. They can be roots. Uh, you know, roots absorb heavy metals from the, uh, uh, from the soil surrounding them. So all of a sudden you're burning that, you may be getting those toxins. Uh, so we need to get away from the belief that just because something is advertised as an herb, that it's safe. If the water is not changed regularly, it's a breeding ground for bacteria. We have a, quite a number of, of nasty b uh, bacteria that will breed in water, cause con considerable respiratory infections, chronic diseases. Tuberculosis is probably one of the, you know, one of the really 
scary ones. Potentially, you can have Legionella uh, bacteria in there and a whole host of other things depending on what's in the, the atmosphere and how, how old that water happens to be. Well, to, uh, to, to give you an example, in an average one hour shisha uh, uh, smoking session, the user will get 35 times the amount of tar that they would get from cigarettes. You know, 10 times the amount of carbon monoxide, it's a very dangerous uh, uh, gas to uh, inhale in that. And uh, the same long list of over 2,000 cancer-causing agents uh, that cigarette smokers uh, are opposed to. So it's very clear when you actually look at the evidence that hookah uh, smoking is uh, far worse for the user uh, than cigarette smoking. My message to, to people uh, is that uh, you know, don't inhale burning smoke. Uh, doesn't matter where it originates from, whether it be tobacco or herbs, uh, and uh, that if you really want the social experience of the hookah, then turn your life 180 around and use the electronic version. For more information on downloading or ordering the Shisha adapter, go to 180smoke.com. Three D printing industry news TV brought to you by Three D Systems. <laughs>